You're listening to WRT. We are here with members of Nirvana. So how's the how's the band existing as a three piece? Is it We were also three piece. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We were only a four piece for about four or five months, really. For the record and we, no, no, we recorded Jason that. Everman did not play on the record. Was there it sounds was there any bad terms? In the party, I suppose there's always going to be a little. Well, Who do you think you are, Rona Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The relationship ended in a brutal beating. It was ugly, man. <laughs> it was ugly. Artistic differences. Yeah. Luckily, now he found a wig because he shaved his head. And I thought maybe you just got rid of him because right he was too pretty. The eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> to me, we're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Robin Zander, I was told last night. I was just thinking that. In fact, as I was sitting here staring at you, a cheap trick tune was going through my head. I want you to want me. Was just this girl, Shirley <laughs> Tracy, they took a Sean Cassidy book and put Kurt's name in. For every time it said Sean Cassidy. Dude, that was a book. lot of work. A long time, man. <laughs> in the background, persistent. we are lucky enough to hear Chad on, on piano. I also asked a big question. How did Nirvana come to be? <laughs> well, it was a long story. Um, Kurt and I had a job tree planting, and we got in a fight with these Mexicans. Hired, we were hired by McDonald's. That's to plant trees because they they feel guilty because cows exhale like methane or something. So we were digging through the dumpster, trying to find the bag where they throw the good food away because they only have it, let it be in there for like 10 minutes and they just throw it out and we found it we had massive Big Macs, McDLTs, everything, you know? You guys we ate so much you said, hey, let's start let's, a band. Let's start a band. Yeah. And, uh, Classic. And uh, we were making jewelry and stained glass and uh, we were grinding crystal. What, um, what ages were you at start of playing? Uh, what was I? I remember, remember in the sixth grade, Kurt, where yeah, you had that uh, Muppet drum set, and I had an accordion, and we had a talent show, <coughs> and uh, we lost. We lost out to a lip sync band. Oh, no. lip -sync the kids. And you were, you were signed by Sub Pop <coughs> soon after? Yeah, that. soon after that. And how has it been uh, recording with Butch Big? Why did Wonderful. you choose Butch instead of exciting, fabulous Jack? Well, and because you know. Jack was out of town. <sighs> because we can only get along with somebody Jay for so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who are some influences of of your band? Who are some of your major influences? Who's your your main? You know, the nude. <laughs> Chad Nugent. I read an interview. The Nuge now. He's in Damn Yankees. That's our influence. Yeah, Nuge is like the guy from Sticks. And Tommy Shaw from Sticks. Yeah, oh, yeah? Shaw. Night no, Ranger. The drummer's got to be from somebody. He's not just a nobody, is he? Can he be a nobody? He's that guy from ELO. ELO. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Bill Collins will probably end up playing drums for him, Chad. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I mean, that's, that's funny that you should say Ted Nugent. I, I got kind of the impression. I mean, when I first heard the Nirvana album, I thought it had kind of a 70s feel to it. Mm -hmm. No, um, really, I can't stand Ted Nugent. Unless I'm really drunk. And I'm in the white trash mood, and I've got a bottle of Jack Daniels in my hand. Then Ted's all right. Huh? But that's the way it works with Ted. Yeah. yeah. But really, I, I never really listen to him. <coughs> what does Ted eat? Hot dogs. <laughs> Anything else, or just just wieners? Not even in a bun. Does he use ketchup? No, just yeah. plain hot. Just Saren cooks them and eats them yeah. by the plateful. You and I hate. He's getting he's a hot dog. Just gotta work with them. Does the exact <laughs> same thing. They should. They're like both the same size too. They they're like he he gets a hot dog and he puts it over a gas burner, and <laughs> so he chars the outside and makes it all blistery, but the inside's still raw and cold. That's how he likes them. All right. Okay, so. Do you all have anything else to say about your record that's going to come out in September, I think? Is it September? Hopefully. If you like Faith No More, <coughs> don't buy a record. 
What if you don't like Faith no more? You'll have a chance of liking us. A well, chance. Don't we'll give anybody a chance. <laughs> we'll give everybody a chance. There you go. A new kid that had licensed scabies at the same time. Oh, man. Heavy hitter. <clears throat> We called him pee pants. <laughs> pee pants. Did his mom hang his dirty sheets out for the rest of the kids to see? Just what? to humiliate him? Yeah. What's that disease where the skin, uh, like, chaps up completely and it looks like little patches of, of dried up skin scaled psoriasis. all over the face? The heartbreak of psoriasis. What are you going to do? Yeah. What can you do? Can Not you shave. This is the... <laughs> This is a dermatology I, I show. Have to, you know, I really don't want to listen to you know, Really? Yeah. Well, let your emotions out. Uh, we're, we're, here. Here. we're here to help. We can talk about it. If you have any She's other kind of uh, dermatology problems, come yeah, out of we'll the class. What do you have? We can help. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We went on a trip to China last summer, and we did a video on the Great Wall in rickshaws. It was a expensive video. What, for what song? Um, Chris took off his shirt and writhed around. Uh-huh. Or, uh... He fell off the wall. I thought that was the name of the song. <laughs> like, God, you guys are getting a little... You know you have to be careful shooting videos now. Like we did it for Negative Creep. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Is it, get, is oh, it getting... We in Square, too. Is it getting any... There were some negative creeps there. I've yeah. never seen it. No, we've never bothered to send it out. Nah. Yeah. We did record some videos live in this TV studio with a chroma key or something like that. There's like a blue screen in back of you. Mm -hmm. had, it was like an old time video. You know, so if the band making headlines right now is Soundgarden. Sound who? Yeah. Hey, who did that? They sign a major label and then they get advanced a bunch of money and then the record doesn't sell so good or something so turns out weird. The right, and then the major label gets pissed off and then that's the end of that, right? Well, major they, labels gotta lost. do what we wanna do or they can take a hike. Yeah. Mm. Right, but what happens is the band gets on the label, compromises their sound, doesn't sell any records anyway as far as the record company's concerned, uh -huh. and then turns around, dumps the band, and then the band's shit out of luck completely, both artistically and financially. Yeah, that's what that's why they're they're they're, they're bestly known as tax write offs because then yeah. these bands end up owing yeah. them the well, big it's labels like money and stuff. So it's like all they have is all these little bands that they've blown off that mm -hmm. they have that they owe money to, so they get all this money coming on the side. Which they use for taxes, and they don't need to touch anything else. I think the root of all evil in in the music business is MTV. I mean that yeah. that has ruined music 100 percent. I think MTV, and it's, and it's once again made it unaccessible to bands like Nirvana and Sub Pop and Tad and like it, well Tad has the face that I think would work on MTV. They rejected the Tad video. Really? Yeah. All well, those pricks, those those elitist fucks. You know. <laughs> but they'll show like something. You know, like total well, innuendo, well, poison or something. It's all calculated. See, is to be safe as possible because most people don't really care about music. They don't. They no, just, they they just want some kind of smooth entertainment or something. Yeah, and so they're just fed that stuff and uh, and like sheep, they just kinda yeah, they just eat it up, follow along, and so it's just it's just to make money. So they they need, they need listeners so they can hear the commercials and. And it's 100% bullshit. Mama, there's a major label. It put a gun against my head. See, How you about, guys, uh, you guys let's hear about your, guy, your guys' sexual orientation. Your no, give never a brief. mind the sex. Give, We're celibate. Give a brief oh, um, you description. Are? Yes. I'm yeah. married. Job all, you're all eunuched out, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm married. Yeah. I like getting it on. My old lady doesn't like getting it on. Well, that sounds like a lousy marriage to me. I'm not married. I don't have a girlfriend. She has better qualities. Sex is pointless. I like John Deere machines. 